Okay, so day 59 solution. We're gonna to look to see if we can work out whether any word is a palindrome. So that means we need to compare each letter in a pair, essentially. And that should be reasonably straightforward. Let's start with the def or palindrome and word. Okay, let's start with our terminating conditions. So there's a case where a word is definitely a palindrome and that's where it's one letter long. So we'll just do if the length of the word is, well, let's just say less than or equal to one because a, a word of length zero probably is called a palindrome as well. Let's return the Boolean true because that's definitely a palindrome then. Um, then let's take the word and we look at the first and last letter and compare them. That's a terminating condition. If the two letters we're getting, so let's just imagine we've got a full word here at the moment, like race car, okay? The first letter is R, the first letter is R, the last letter is R, they're the same. If it was a different word, like hello, the first letter is H, the last letter is O, they're not the same. That's a terminating condition. It's not the same. So let's see if we can work that out. If word zero, first letter, is not the same as word minus one, that would be the, the last letter, then return false okay so that'll tell us definitely that's not a palindrome and so we've dealt with the situation where it's definitely a palindrome and that also deals with the situation where they've got one letter in it or less we've also dealt with the situation where the two letters that we're comparing don't match so that's good so all we've really got to do here is return palindrome Ooh, spell and then we need to reduce the word. And at this point, we're assuming that, well, if, they, if these two letters were different, it would have exited by now. If they're the same, then we're going to send the word, but with those chopped off. So we're going to use our string slicing to squash that in a little bit. So word, uh, everything from one, actually, everything from one, to minus ones, the last but one word, uh, letter, the last but one letter. So I hope that should work. Let's try it out. Let's print palindrome and let's try race car, which definitely is correct. And let's try race cars. Hey, works wonderfully. Let's try our terminating addition. Cool. And let's try would a blank word be a palindrome. I don't know what the definition is really, but we're going to say it is. So this works brilliantly to get all that working and it's recursive. So we get top marks. Now, could we have done this an easier way? Probably, probably, but this way makes a lot of sense in your head. Take the word, compare these two. If they're not the same, it ain't a palindrome. If they are the same, bloop, chop the word down a little bit and try again. And this recursive method of coding helps us when we can think of the problem in a recursive way as a human, and we can try and build it in a recursive way in code.